a special edition of the Sandy and the Coach Show. And we're here on the way to, where are we? We're going to the Maasai Mara <laughs> Leisure Village, but we're stuck in the mud at this moment. And we have children <laughs> trying to sell us gum, and we're fixing the That was the my gum. I gave it to them. That guy. They're selling it back to you. A tremendous business effort on the part of this young man. Meanwhile, we're, we just thought we might talk about the West Valley basketball openers coming up, and now we're moving. Uh, we have a big opener. It's Taft versus El Camino Real. Great guards. Eddie Egan from El Camino taking on Kihei Clark. Yes, I'm not sure we can continue the show at this moment because <laughs> our seats are uh, rapidly moving out Will the window. Will you windows. talk and tell them what you think you about it? it yes, going. you can. Keep going. Well, in terms of that game, El Camino and uh, who is the team they play? And Taft. Oh, Taft. <laughs> Tremendous guards, but uh, Taft has the advantage with the overall depth of their team. El Camino. <laughs> Their bench is not very good. Are you not able to do two things at once? Uh, I can Talking. do plenty of things. Okay. But the driver may not want us to be doing this. All right. Well, the other big matchups coming up is, is, is next weekend. We're also going to have some great league games coming up. And I'm waiting for that Taft Birmingham game. And you, you like Birmingham, correct? I like Birmingham because they get a 6'10 Cameroonian, whereas Taft lost their 6'9 uh, January. Uh, to uh, free agency. Right. Well, uh, this has been an interesting experience. You got me on this trip. You did not mention that we would be going up and down for like a half an hour. You know, or and, not more than a half hour. Let's say three hours. We've been three <laughs> hours on a muddy road heading for nowhere. We have a flat tire. One of our vans, right? Oh yes. And the other, the other day, the axle broke. <laughs> Everything you look for in Africa is right here in front of your yeah, eyes. Yeah, well, I thank you so much for getting me involved. Now we're on a safari drive, and Coach Miller has had time to think about who are the top 10 teams for eight spots in the C-section open division as league play begins. You've already figured it out, correct? I have. This is a waste of time for the city schools to play any more games. <laughs> they can save on all the bus money, and let's just go to the playoffs. You're joking, of course. Of course, of okay. course. Okay, so who are the top team? Well, first of all, you have to start with Fairfax and Westchester. They're playing on January the 12th. That should give us a good idea who number one in the city section is. But it's easy for those top two, but let's talk about the other ones. Well, first of all, whatever happens to Fairfax and Westchester during the league season doesn't matter. It's going to come down to the final game in the city and anything goes. But the rest of the teams. Now, I had Narbon third, but El Camino beat them. So now we've got a big toss up coming here. So outside of that game, you've got Birmingham. So the winner, it looks How to about me. How about Taft? Okay, the winner of the West Valley League looks like they could get the third spot. And that's between Taft, Birmingham, El Camino, and then you cannot throw out Granada Hills. Granada Hills has won some big games. They could be in the open division, but as the clouds clear at the end of the West Valley. And clear we here, too. Yeah, it's a little foggy. <laughs> we just saw a balloon lift. Oh, well, there's an impeller. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got to keep my focus. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. So then we then we've got Washington, and Washington will play Narbonne, and we'll yeah. find out about that. Uh, they can and move Crenshaw in. could yeah. win the Coliseum League. Exactly. So you yeah. have all these groups here, and you're on the seating committee. You're being open-minded, even though you're you're joking here that there's 18, because they could kick you off the seating committee because yeah. you already made up your mind. I, uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to wait for the season just to clear it and up. And the division also University could be in there, even though they're what 10 and 0 or 11 and 0, but you believe their schedule is terrible, correct? Well, they haven't exactly lined up with powerhouses, <laughs> but they did come back and beat a tough Van team who could be seated number uh, one in Division yeah, Two. Yeah, Jason Hughes is having a great season he, for you. Tremendous season. Of course, they've got Coach Ackerman, mm -hmm. who's one of the finest city coaches. <laughs> Wait a second, existed. is that a line over it, there? It's a line. It's a line. Okay, we, we gotta go. We gotta go. We yeah. gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, thank you for joining us again. Uh, well, where are we? Where, where, We're in where the Masa? middle of the Maasai Mara. The migration doesn't start for six months, but we can see the pre-migration <laughs> as they're eating their way to oblivion. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Stop embellishing for all these people here that actually believe you. I'm a professional embellisher. <laughs> Goodbye and good luck to everybody.